Wow, so you draw it in layers. Yeah, I do. This is, that is actually an advantage uh, in relation to a painting with art, because oh, if wow. I make a mi mistake, it's mm -hmm. very easy to correct. Yeah, I uh, take it out. On the oil painting, it can spoil the whole picture. Anyway, I start with a, a, a sketch, and usually I, I do it on the drawing table, and then I scan it into the computer. Mm -hmm. ah. And then I uh, usually start with the background, because that gives me the color and the mood. Mm -hmm. So I paint in the background. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I can go very detailed, so it becomes more easy to paint. Like, yeah. it will be printed in around this size in the magazine. Mm -hmm. and, and that, of course, looks very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's the house over there. And again, I can actually do it very rough, because from this distance it looks good. But if you go close, you can see it's pretty rough. Oh, wow. Um, Rainbow, and I, I can. I have a pencil, a pencil that works like an airbrush. Oh wow! So, so that, uh, and then I, uh, then I want to splash down here, and then now I'm ready to like. No, oh, I, I just missed on that. Now I'm ready for, for the foreground, the yeah, and then it's made in a bit warmer color to draw it closer to. You. <laughs> and these stones I painted in partly like to lead the viewer into the picture, mm -hmm. but also to add some mystery. Uh, that's also why I have the hole in the stone. Ah. You can wonder why is there a hole yeah. in the stone? Uh, and then I start to do the ravens, and they are they are partly because Odin like. The chief god in the Viking mythology had two ravens, uh -huh. but I also wanted them to make sure the viewer didn't wander out of the picture. Mm -hmm. Like they like stop the viewer and right. forces Before you back in. in. Uh, I didn't then, realize so much thought <coughs> went into <laughs> yeah. keeping the viewer. And then. Uh, <laughs> I painted in the Vikings. I could use myself. I usually use models, so I had my wife take a picture, and then I just put uh, of me, and then I could just <laughs> draw on some Viking clothes. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and then I draw in some grass, so it looked yeah. more like the stones were actually sitting in the ground. Oh, this is not. <laughs> Some shadows, and when actually I came that long, I could remove the line drawings so we had the, the, the completed picture. Wow! Uh, for the drawing, you have over here uh, a lot of different uh, pencils and pencils and mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and now well, I can just select one, just a second. Take that one. And over here you can select colors. And there's more than a million different colors. Uh -huh. um, so you select one. Up here you can select how much color there should be on your brush. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also like how easy it should flow. So if you take it... Uh, down a lot, it won't flow very much. You can see like you see like that, and you can take it up, and it becomes more. You can do make uh, this one here also makes it touch sensitive. So when you press hard, ah. it becomes very uh, or light. That's really cool. I didn't yeah. know you could do that. <laughs> wow. So and. 
from the beginning this program was actually created to do photo manipulation. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Photoshop. Yeah. Photoshop, yeah. Uh, but most professional uh, illustration artists um, use the program if they don't make 3D, of course. But for 2D illustrations, this is the main program, I would say. Mm -hmm. The historical things, this is a, about some German uh, crusaders, an article about those. So for the background, uh, did you? I'm wondering how you did like all the people in the background. Is it? That's is it a layer that a is cut and paste? No, or no. did you like you did each one of them? I did each one of them, wow. but sometimes yeah. I can take, for example, these and then move over here yeah. because there they have. Yeah. Uh, so that that becomes uh, easy to do it that way. Um, I of course also do book covers, mm -hmm. uh, but actually not so much more as I have because it's it's not very well paid. Oh, interesting. Really? Yeah, That's but but nice. it's big. Yeah, but it's because the Danish book market is so small, because we are only yeah five million people. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, uh, but I like to do. Uh, yeah. Fantasy illustrations, of mm -hmm. course. Um, wow. So. And yeah, what else? Uh, I work a lot for also this theater um, that makes musicals in Tivoli. This is uh, a musical that is coming up uh, next year. I've just delivered to them actually. The Queen of the Wood, it's called. Uh, yeah. Wow. 